Alrighty, hello there everyone. This is Rackus96 here, and this is something different I'm going to start to do on this channel. Um, first off, this is a tutorial. Today's tutorial will be how to turn a normal um, Nerf Streamline Dart into a modified Glue Dome tip. Um, these actually fly very, very well. Um, a lot better than the pinhole in the side of the Elite Dart here, as you can see. So some things you're going to need. One, you're going to need a streamline, or in my case, a bunch of streamlines, because I'm going to do a few things for you, and you have just fallen over there out of nowhere. Sorry about that. This is what happens when you experiment with things on camera. You never know if you're going to get it right. Right. And a exacto knife, or a um, hobby knife, one or the other. A pair of scissors, in this question I'll be using... Um, hospital scissors because they are really good at cutting just about anything so we'll set those there and you're gonna need a hot glue gun what type of hot glue gun does not matter big small any type of hot glue mine just so happens to be the clear so I'm just gonna move the hot glue gun out of the way because that's heating up here so step one you're going to take your dart I am left-handed so hopefully guys you can see this you're gonna go right by this pinhole here right there and you're gonna cut right in the middle of it and you're just, just going to cut that off right there. You want to make sure you have a kind of even platform there. So I do have a high spot. It's going to go in there and just take it off. As you guys saw when I cut that, it is a little weird here. So to correct that real quick, I'm not going to go ahead and cut another one or waste a dart. I'm just going to take a little bit of super glue. I'm just going to go on in here. Instead of wasting a dart, I'm just going to go ahead and just put a little bit of super glue in here. There we go. I should hold that side. Put a little bit on this side. Now, over gluing, guys, is never a good thing, especially when it comes to super glue, because then you do that and you get it on your finger. Now it's going to be really stubborn. All right, so that super glue pretty much dries instantly. Um, only just about takes a couple seconds. What you do now, you can keep this cap here for anything you want to use it for. Uh, you can use it as a cover for a button. Personally, I have so many of these. I just throw them right out, right into my uh, my junk bin here. So what we do next is we take our hot glue gun right here, as you can see glue dripping out of it. I wouldn't recommend actually doing that. Uh, it does get a little hot if you're not used to using a hot glue gun. Um, you can always just wipe it off on the counter, wipe it off on something. Uh, so you can move your scissors to the side. We're not going to need those anymore, unless you plan on doing more than one. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to put a little bead of glue in the middle. And then we're just going to leave that there for a few seconds. We want to make sure we get a nice even ball, not lopsided or anything. So the first one down there is just to add a little bit more weight. No, well, it doesn't have to sit too long, but once it is there, it just kind of sits there a little bit. You're just going to push your finger now that it's cooled off a little bit straight down. And then spin it just a little bit just to break the bond on your finger. Now you have a nice flat surface down there if you guys can see that. So now what you're going to do is, I'm going to do this actually over top of you, kind of fill in the rest. And it doesn't really matter what the glue looks like on top. Just pull those strings off and you're just going to let it sit for a couple seconds. That way it's not too hot when you actually go to stick your finger on it to actually cool it down, or um, to actually make the, um, there we go, a little bit more light, to actually make the dome itself. So now that it's been sitting, I'm just going to go ahead and put a finger, use my middle finger here, right on top of the dart. Now this may not be the best way to do this, to actually use your finger as a, kind of a, a, a smoothing device, um, but it is the best one I've personally found, and uh, I trust myself more than any other object, plus, might not be smart, but uh, once you're done doing this, your fingerprint gets embedded there. So now we have a nice even, all the way across the top, nice and flat, you can see, ooh, it went out of focus there, there we go. Now you see, there's a little lip here, which is perfectly fine, if it really was a problem, you just go ahead and take your exacto, just carve a little bit of it off at a time. There we go. There we go. So it's still over a little bit, but not as bad as it was. 
And guys, that's how you make a modified streamline. Nice and simple. They just look like that. And then um, you guys are all set. That's as simple as it is. Um, doesn't matter what, uh, or like I said, what kind of hot glue you use, really anything, as long as you feel comfortable with using any type of scissors, these are just the ones that I like, some kind of X-Acto knife, um, just in case, this is always just in case, you might never need one of these, and definitely a hot glue gun. You're always going to need a hot glue gun unless um, you have somehow found a better way to make a hot glue dome tip. Um, <laughs> kind of funny. Um, so guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.